Okay, so today's stuff is that Yud Beis in Ksubis, as we learned for four Shlomo, for Elazar ben Ruma and Yosef Israel ben Chaim Micha. We we'll, we'll start from the bottom of, of, of Yud Aleph Hamid Beis. No, sorry, no, no, no question. No, 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 no question, sorry. We don't have any time for questions. Okay, Tan Rabbanan, fine. Kansa Lurishon L'Shem Nesuan, the Yeshla Edim. Two rhymes from the bottom of Yud Aleph Hamid Beis. Kansa Lurishon L'Shem Nesuan, the Yeshla Edim, Shalom Nisra. The first guy married her. We learned in the Mishnah that if she was been married already, she was married, but she's still a psula. For example, the guy died under the chuppah. She's an amana, grusha, chalutza, whatever it was, but she's been an asuim, but she's still a psula. So what's halacha? She only has a ketub of, of 100, of 100, and the husband cannot claim anything. The husband cannot claim that she was a psula because she was married already. That was the new husband. The second husband cannot claim, well, I thought she was a psula. Bryce says like this: Conservation of the The first guy married her, okay, married her Nisuin. But Yeshla ate him. So after that, after that marriage was completed, he died or divorced her or whatever. And there's Adam that they never were in seclusion. Inami Nistrovlo Shaw Sakabia, or there's Adam that they did not stay in the Yichu room long enough for Bia. They were there 30 seconds. <clears throat> they didn't have time to get undressed, etc. The second guy who marries her cannot claim conservation because the first guy married her. So you say, well, what do you mean? But they couldn't have had Bia. Doesn't make any difference. If there was, if she was married before, you can't claim now a time of Sulam. In other words, the second marriage is only entitled to one. You can't say, oh, I thought you were a virgin and uh, therefore it's it's Mechachtos. As we saw yesterday, Mechachtos mean you would get nothing. That's what the that's what the Bryce says. Can't claim that. Amar Rabba, so Rabba at the top of the day says, from here we learn Zosameris, Konseba Cheskus Psulav Nimsis Baula, Yeshlak Suba Mana. So Rabba says, Oh, wait a minute. You see from over here, he assumed that she's a Psula because there were Adam that they didn't have Bia, right? There were Adam that they never consummated the marriage, they didn't have time for that, or he died under the chuppah. And the you see from over here that if he had married her in a stage where she's a Psula, and it turns out that she's not. He, she stole him talent too, but you don't say it's a mekech toes, and she fooled him, because you say over here, even though there was no bia, there was impossible for them to have bia. It says there were Adam that they didn't have bia. Still, she was married. The Bryce is saying even more than the Mishnah. The Mishnah just says, she was a psula. We don't know what happened. The guy died. We don't know, but she was apparently a psula, but she was married. So you know what? The second guy cannot claim time as pursuum. He can't claim, hey, I thought you were a virgin. Doesn't make any difference. She was married. Can't claim that, and therefore she's only entitled to hundred. But he has no claim. He can't say mekhtos, and the whole deal is off. Rabbi says apparently you could say that. Zos Ameris concept bechesketal. You assume she's a psul, and turns out she's a bula. Yesh looks to a mana. She's entitled to a mana. In other words, there's no. She's entitled to it anyway, even though there was apparently a mistake here with mekhtos. She's still entitled to her hundred. That's what Rabbi says. I'm sorry. Let's, let's, let's just we have to get to the more. We'll take the questions later. There's just no time. Ravashi Omar ba'alma laola meimel chal les in general, I will say, no, you can't say that. Normally, if he assumes she's a psula, he's getting married to psula. So he wrote on the invitation, she's a psula. Her parents said she's a psula. And it turns out she's not. He can say, mekechtos, this deals off. Now I'm not giving you 100, you get nothing. I'm divorcing you with nothing. Les laklau, shiny ocha, shavei konserishon. Over here, it's different. Because here you should have known because the first guy married her. She's, she's a widow or divorcee, right? She, he should have known. You can't claim that you thought she was a psula. Ah, yeah, but the Adam told me that they didn't have time for Bia. I don't care if she was married. You can't claim on a second marriage that you thought she was a psula. So wait a minute. If it turns out she's a bula, that's what you're saying over here. You thought she was a virgin. It turned out that she's not a virgin. And she has no claim. She's not claiming you made a mistake or whatever. We'll talk about different claims. That was the issue that Irving brought up there. What does she claim in this whole mess? It just, right now, she admits that she's a baula, right? She admits she's a baula. What, maybe, she, maybe she was mezana after the Arison, before the wedding, and he can't stay with her. Forget about that. You say normally, it's over here, it's different because she's because uh, the first guy married her, so he should have known she's entitled to 100 because he should have known she was married before. And why should she marry anything? Maybe she was, uh, she was a, a sota. Maybe she was mezana. Un, under him, meaning she had Arison with the second guy, and they three months later they got married. Maybe she was in Zana uh, in between that time. Amra Sharvia, no, going to Kiddush Bal Alter. The second guy was Makadash, and he had Bia with her man away. It says Kiddush, because technically you could have Bia after the Kiddushan also. But whatever, the point is, there was no time between the Kiddushan and the Bia. She couldn't have been Mazana under the second guy's 
uh, you know, uh, under his uh, jurisdiction while she while he was married to him because he had kedusha with her, and right away he had deal with her. Okay, so there's a this Kasha Rashi says it's really on the Mishnah. How do you say over here she's a psula, Anathas Psulum, she's a psula, and Psulum, maybe she was Mazana? Yes, okay. There was no chance that she could have been Mazana under the second guy. But the whole issue here is, is when a woman, when he claims Pesach Pasuk Matsasi, and it was, he said she's a psula, and it turns out she's a baula, and it turns out she's a baula, what's the status of her? What's the, what's going on? Is she incredible? A baula only gets 100, like an Amana or Bush only gets 100, or do you say the whole deal's off? So Rabbi wanted to learn from this case, well, yes, Thomas Psulum, even if there's Adam who said that she was a psula, um, there's no, there's a uh, 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 because he was married before. So you see over here that even if he found out afterwards that she's a bula, she's still in Tanah He says, no, normally not, but over here there were Adam. There were Adam who said that she's also, therefore you might say, you know, there was Adam who said she, she was a, a, a psula. Right, it's of the share conservation. The reason I'm different is not because they didn't, because she was married. Once she's married, you can't claim anything. If she wasn't married, Ravashi's saying she wasn't married before, and she says she's a psula. Family says she's a psula. They wrote so on the invitation, they wrote everything. This is a kala. She's a psula. And you find out that she's not, she's not anything. It's a, it's a mechatos. Economy, some say, I think in a say someday it's going on the mission. Forget this brysa. This price that we started with today, but there were eight them that they didn't have time for being the Mishnah. What did the Mishnah say? Mishnah says, How could she be a Psula from Nisuin? If they were married, how could she be a Psula? She went to the Chopa, but they didn't have Bia, whatever the reason was. You know, there were eight them there, whatever, but he dropped dead or uh, he gave her a get immediately. No, Nivola. Amarava, so you see over here, is also Maris comes from Bechas Psulim Nimsis Bulux of Asimasan Mana. You see over here that if you get married to somebody and it turns out she's a Baula, she'll tell to 100. She said she's a Psula, right? And everybody thought she's a Psula because the guy died under the Chuppah. It turns out she's still entitled to 100. That's apparently you see from the Mishnah. Or again, Ravashi says, no, if she fooled him and she said she's a Psula, Family fooled them. She's not entitled to anything. Mekach tos. Shani yochah sherei nechus v'chupa. Here it's different because she was married already. If you buy a previously owned Cadillac, you can expect there to be some, <clears throat> some, um, ash, uh, some cigarette marks in the car, right? You buy some. You can't assume that it's brand new. And this woman's been married so before. Right? Soon as the show, it's brand, it's not new anymore. She was previously married. You can't assume it. You 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 marry her now. We say, uh, even though technically she might be a psula, it doesn't make any difference. She's only entitled to 100. The assumption is that she's married. She's only entitled to 100. And you can't claim, why isn't she a psula? Well, okay, let's let, okay, okay, okay. That's the Bryce. The Bryce says there's Adam. There's Adam. There's Adam there who right. were a company, were at the chuppah, and, and they were standing there and he died. Right. And they, there was no, there couldn't have been Bia. Right. Couldn't have been Bia. So you put in a new carburetor. Okay. So, I mean, and, no, 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 no. Okay, let, let's let, let's leave it for later because we got to finish. Normally, she doesn't have any. She's not entitled to anything in a case where it's mekachos, where he thought she's a psula and turns out she's not. You're not entitled to anything. Again, here it's different because she went into the chuppah. And the, whether they're talking about the mission on the brice or the difference is only whether they were Adam. Either way, though, the mission says she's a psula who's an amana grusha chalutzim and anasuin k'sibasamana. Well, how was she a psula? The answer is there was no bia. There was no bia either because there were Adam in the Mishnah. The bride said there was Adam, or if there was no Adam, but it was clear that uh, she was a psula. They never had bia. Never, the guy died under the chuppah. Can you be? Can he be any stronger than that? There's a thousand people there, and the guy died under the chuppah. They clearly didn't have bia before. But you know what? She was married, and therefore you have to assume maybe they had bia some other time. We don't know. But whatever it was, she's a, she's she's only right. Well, probably whatever. Right. But it's if that's different than a case where she's never been married and she says she's a psula and she's not. Okay, so the deal's off. Same thing, maybe she was Mazana after the second guy gave her Arison. No, there was Bia right afterwards. There was no chance, there was no time, but she couldn't have been Mazana under the second guy. So the question, but obviously she was a she was a bula from before. Manda Masala Bryce is the one who learns this whole discussion. The Rabbah says, you see from over here, she says, no, this is different because she was married or because there were Adam that she couldn't have had Bia. So one who learns on the Brisa that says, even when there's Adam, 
you can't claim that. Kol Shkena Masnis, and certainly on the Mishnah, where there weren't even Adam over there, there weren't Adam, they didn't have Bia, certainly on the Mishnah, you have this discussion. The Rabbah says, yeah, you see from over here, Kansa Bechas Pesum Neskul, Yesh Nekzibavon, and Rashi says, no, see from over there, because she was married. Man Damas Masnis, and one of the ones on the Mishnah, of Labrai Salo, where Rabashi's argument couldn't be good. Mishum Damas Yomla, no, Adam Samchit. The guy could say in the in Ibravashi's answer, who says normally it's a mechtos, but over here it's different because they're Adam. But over here in the Brisa, if you're learning it based on the Mishnah, where there were no Adam, here we could say I relied on the Adam. If the Adam said that there's no chance that she had Bia, there's Adam. I have two Adam who say she had Bia. I relied on that. And if and if uh, if the uh, Adam are uh, not telling, and if it turns out that she was uh, Baula, right? So you could say that, so in that case. He could argue, uh, no, it's mekachtos. I relied on the Adam. I relied on the Adam, like in a regular case where there's no Adam at all. I relied on the Adam, told me she's a psula. And then there were, there were not, so why should I have to give her a hundred? I give her nothing. It's a mekachtos. Says the Mishnah, in Yehuda, there was a custom we said in certain areas of Yehuda where they would get together like a date. You know, they would have Yichud uh, before the actual marriage. Uh, so if, he ate, ate, if your in-laws in Yehuda, before the marriage, after the heirs before the marriage, Shalobayim, there were no Adam there. In other words, you're unchaperoned. So you can't claim later on at the wedding, oh, she's not absurd. Because maybe he was the one who, who uh, took away her virginity when they were out on a date. The Midikani, oh, it says if you ate at your, at your in laws in Yehuda after the heirs and before the Nasuin, it says if you, only if you ate there, if you visited your in laws during the time that you were engaged, you can't claim later on. Tanis Basulam. Okay. Mashma that there were places that you didn't eat at the and you not everybody did that. There were different places in Yud also, different customs. Get a time like you know. They used to let the Chasam and Kala, like the Hasidim do, you know, but an hour before the wedding, they let them get together to meet, to meet the bride. So you should feel comfortable with her. Okay, so if they were miach of them, so he could have said, listen, maybe they had Bia then, how could he claim Pesach Pesach? The Golo, they didn't do that. The Yehuda, another custom was, they used to have two chaperones, two men who do like groomsmen, chaperones, they to inspect them. What does that mean? The Chassan would have a, uh, a an inspection there, a man there, checking to make sure that the wife, that the wife, did not bring in a shmata, uh, uh, let's see, a bed, a bed sheet with some drops of blood on it to prove her virginity when she's not. So he would have somebody checking her and she would have somebody checking him to make sure that he wouldn't, that, to Shepard, to make sure that he didn't have a chance to take away the, beds, the, the bed sheet that had blood on it from the bia and throw it out and then claim later on that she wasn't, that there was no blood. So each one of them would have a, an examiner. They didn't do that in the Galil, but they did this in Yuda. Now, <laughs> obviously, if they had these people to inspect it, it can't be speaking about where they also visited his, he visited his in-laws and he was meyach with her during the, during the engagement period, right? Because otherwise, what's the point in checking now? If, if, he, if, he, if he had a date with her during the engagement period, you can't start with the sheets and checking and all that because maybe she already had deal with him before. So obviously here you see that there were different men hugging even in Yehuda. There's one place in Yehuda they used to date. Another place they used to have these uh, groomsmen uh, checking things. We'll go to us again. Originally they would have these groomsmen, these uh, chaperones sleep uh, with, with the chassan and with the kala, uh, where, where the chassan and kala slept to make sure there was nothing wrong. They didn't do it. If they didn't follow this minute, you can't claim Tanis Basum. So the Gemara is going to deal. What do you mean they didn't follow which minute? Ahaya, which, what's this last phrase? What's it going on? If it's going on the ratio, should say, listen, if you if you did what they did in Yehuda, that if you dated, you can't claim Columbus Basulum. What do you mean if you didn't date? If you didn't do this minute of dating, it should be if you dated. If you dated, you can't claim Tanis Basulum. Ella safe is going on the safe. What the case where they would have examination? Ella kol shelo. So what could he? Who is the one type claiming claiming tanis pesulim? The husband. The husband says she's not a pesula, right? So it could only it could only it should read Ella safe a kol shelo mushmush be boy 
when you say kosher noag, kosher noag, you say kosher log noag, kemena gazet, you say kosher log mushrus if he wasn't examined. If he wasn't examined, he can't claim Tanis Basuim because maybe he took the bed sheet with the blood on it and threw it out. So it should say, if he wasn't examined, the boy late, or by low ratio is going to the ratio with Tani Kol Shanog. Change the word to Kol Shanog. If you were Nog this way that you had a date, you can't claim Tanis Basuim because you dated her. Maybe you maybe you're the one who took away her virginity back in the engagement period. Omele Rava, but Kol Shalom Nog Tani La. The gear says Kol Shalom Nog. That's the gears that we have. Why do you just get just don't, don't change the words, reversing it automatically without a good reason. I have a different explanation. If you, we said in Galil, they didn't find, they didn't follow these customs normally, right? They, they didn't date, they didn't uh, do anything like this. He says, if you didn't follow the minig of Galil in the Galil, but rather meaning you dated, if you dated, if in Galil you also went out on a date, then you can't claim later on time for sort of Ashi Amrla Olama Seifa. It's going in the safe of Tani Koshal and Mushris. Change the words. Okay. So again, Ravashi and Abaye change the words. And instead of even though it said Kosha Nog, even though this the, the, the Lushan was Kosha Lo Nog, Kaminikazain Yachalit Tanas Pasulam, it could say Abaye changed it to Kol uh Kosha Nog, and uh Ravashi changes it to Koshal and Mushris. If he wasn't examined, he can't claim. In other words, it just goes with logic. If they dated, he can't claim Thomas Basulam. If he wasn't examined, he can't claim Thomas Basulam. That's what happens in these uh, in these cases. Okay, so that's what Mishnah says about those cases. We said before that a psula has a, a, stam, a, a minimum of 200, 200 dinners, whatever, call it dollars, dinners, whatever you want to call it, 200. An Amana has 100. Whether she's an Amana who's a Yisraelis or she's an Amana who's a Baskoin. Kohen and Rashi says means Baskoin. Almanus Baskoin. Uh, Amara Baskoin, uh, even though Kohanim were considered a higher nobility, uh, but they still they only get 100. Bezin Shor Kohanim, you go up to Allah Bahamas. The Bezin of the Kohanim, they are different uh, Bezins for the Kohanim in, in the cities of the Kohanim. And they said no, uh, for Kohanim girls, for, for Kohanite girls, priestly girls, they're entitled to 400 because they are more Miyuchas and they gave them 400. But let me forget the Chacham. The Chacham didn't um, reject that. They, the Chachamim did not. Um, frown upon that. They didn't uh, object to that because they said, yeah, uh, if you can get 400 for your psula uh, coin, that's fine. Cons. Ton of Amonas coin, coin and Subasa Masayim. Our mission said, Amonas coin and Subasa Masayim. Amon of a coin, right, gets 200. Ivan Anton, our mission says, Achas Amonas and Shabachas and Mas Kohan, Akohan and Subasa Mana. Our mission started by saying that an Amana always get, Amana means Bhusha also. Anybody who's been previously married, they only get 100. Whether she's the Israelis, whether she's Kohen, she gets, uh, she gets only 100. The mission went on to say that the Bezik Kohanim tried to get for a Psula 400, and then the rabbis didn't object to that. Fine. But we say over here the Amana gets, uh, the mission said 100. The Bryce says Amana's coming to us from 200. What's going on over here? There were two decrees. Mikara Tikin of Psula says originally they wanted to get the Kohanim girls who were worth more, came from the ability for an Well, Amana, Amana. They said, Amana gets 100 like regular Yisraelis. Even the Chazi, the Mazal, once they saw that these girls were easily divorced because it only cost the guy 100 to divorce her, and that would be making light of Khan and families. Even the Chazi, the Mazal, the King of the So there was a Takana, they raised the Amana, the, Bas, the Baskoin, the Baskoin. If she was a Psula, got 400. If she was an Amana, she got 100. They raised it to 200 that the, the, the husband shouldn't divorce him so quickly. The King of the So now, and Almana Bas Cohen got 200, and Almana Bas Israel got 100. He even the Chaz of the Kamafash Menem, nobody wanted to marry them. Nobody wanted mm-hmm. to marry the Bas Cohenim. Why? The Amri Adnan is even Almana Kohanim. Why should I marry an Almana Kohenim and I got to pay her 200 for the Ksuba Nasal Nasal Basil Bas Israel? I'll marry Bas Israel for the same 200. Well, I'll get a virgin for 200, a virgin Yisraelis for the same price of a Bas Cohen Almana. I'll take a virgin Yisraelis, Adrenal Messiah. So they went back to the original Takana. Of what the Mishnah would say, then Almana, whether she's a Baskoin or a Bas Israel, gets 100. They, for the Psula, a coin, they try to get 400 when they could. If you can, you always give more. We know you can give more. Why don't they just increase it to 200? Increase what to 200? For yeah. everybody. The minimum, yeah. No. Uh, so then, the, then uh, right, right. So far because then nobody would marry them because they, you can get a Psula for 200. Never get you get, no, you, they wouldn't marry Almanas because they would get, marry a Psula for 200. Like the same, same thing happened over here. 
Bezin Shal Kohanim. Am Rabbi Yerim Shmuel. Well, Bezin Shal Kohanim. But not only Bezin Kohanim tried to get four hundred for their girls. Am Rabbi El Afilu Bish Afilu Mishpacha. Some Yichas Mishrael. Any noble family would would demand more more money because they could demand it. You want to marry this fancy family? You got to spend more money. In Ratzulas Gederach Shal Kohanim. If they wanted to do it, in other words, nothing wrong with getting more today. They always put more than two hundred into the Ksuba, right? If you fan, uh, fancy families want to demand more, even better. Why? Because it's, what's the reason for the Ksuba? So he should think twice before divorcing her. So make it more expensive for him. So he'll think three times. Mesvei. Harotz lasas kedev shakana mosin kagon. Bas Yisrael kohen. Bas kohen the Yisrael. Osin. They could do that. They could actually do like the kohanim do. Whether it's a bas kohen the Yisrael or a bas Yisrael the kohen. Uh, obviously, the, it really means about kagon. Bas bas kohen the Yisrael is what we're speaking about. Bas Yisrael the kohen is probably mentioned like borcha. So since so mashma over here, you could do that. Mashma bas Yisrael the kohen. Bas kohen the Yisrael. Who they eat the satuna? It's mashma from this brisa. You, you start off by saying that anybody wants to, any noble family can demand more money. Then you say a, a riot from the bright from the brisa like this also. Why? Because we say or, or a, a kasha from the brisa like yeah, kagon right? Um, they say the kasha is that you have brisa says over here that if whoever wants to be like the khan can do that. For example, a bas Yisrael to a khan, a bas Yisrael. Where they're moving up a stage in the family, they could also demand more money. Mashma Baskoin Bas Yisrael, the coin of Baskoin Yisrael, who the Ikat Sat Kuna, because there's a Sat Kuna there, there's some, the priests are at a higher level. There it's Mashma, you can increase it and go above 200. Right? Ava Bas Yisrael Yisrael, Allah, it's Mashma Bas Yisrael Yisrael. You shouldn't increase more than 200. It's no, let me boy come Let me boy Bas Yisrael Yisrael, the low Matsi Amale, no Matsi Amale, he can't tell her. Aluya Kamalena, listen, we're putting you at a higher level. You're marrying into a priestly family that their one can't have, and therefore I shouldn't increase you. I am making you higher. I don't have to give you more money. Aim below. You shouldn't do that. I know that even in those cases, you can also, if they want to, they can demand more money, and it's a proper thing to do. Okay. Says the mission. I know Again, may again marries a woman, and she's supposed to be psula, and turns out she's not. He omer. She says Mishra son in You know what happened? I was raped after the Arison. It's your, your, your field has been over flooded, meaning it's your mazel. In other words, what again, remember in those days they used to have the Arison before the Nasuan by a week, a month, six months, even up to a year. So she says, yeah, of course, I'm not a that they, he, when they got engaged, she was supposedly a psula and he finds that she's not a, a, a psula at the wedding night. So he says, she says, yeah, I was raped, but I was raped uh, after the Arison. It's your tough luck. You still owe me 200. I I know you were you were either raped or you had bia before we got engaged. But you like we said yesterday, it's more is mashma. What she's not entitled to anything. They're arguing now about the money. They're arguing now about the money. Now, is there an issue of uh, of uh, you know was she's mizana tachtov? The question we raised before. Okay, if there's mizana tachtov. So you have proof to that, that I mean, or, or that uh, she, that she was Mazana. You have no proof. You don't assume that. You don't assume she's a Sota. She, the issue here is over the money. He says, "I owe you nothing. I'm giving you again. I owe you nothing." She says, "No, I was Absula and I was raped." From Muliel, famous machlokes from Muliel and Rabbi Shua, and we're going to have similar machlokes in, at tomorrow in the Mishnah in the upcoming Mishnah. So Muliel, Rabbi Shua, Mazana, and Mar, she's believed. She's believed. We'll see why. Pashup shot is Bari Bashema, Bari Yadav. We can see that. She's sure. She says she knows when she was raped. He doesn't know. He doesn't know anything about it. Right? Bari Bashem, Bari Yadav. That's what we're assuming now. Pardon? You say that, but she's giving Aidus on herself. He's right. We're not talking about Aidus over here. Question seems to there's no. There are, there are no Aidus. Who's got the. Right, 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 right. She's right, right. She's the one who. Right, 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 right. He has no proof, though. He has no proof that she was Mizana Tachta, right? The issue here is a money issue. We're talking about a money issue. There's no aid. Who's got the better argument? We're, uh, we're talking about when nobody has proof. What do you do? So Muliel says that she's believed. Bari Bashem Bari Yada. Rabbi Shua Omer, look, we're going to see in the Gemara a stronger thing, and she also has a Miku. We'll talk about that. Rabbi Shua Omer, let me be on a chayim. We don't live by her word, meaning she's lying. Let me be, we don't live by her word. But the Lush is an interesting Lush, let me be on a chayim. Uh, the Ari um, yeah, has an explanation about that. But anyway, we'll get that. Shua says, let me be on a chayim. We don't live by her mouth. Ella Rebbe Cheskes Baula. We assume that she was Baula before she got engaged. Achlot Tzaras before she was engaged. They told us when she fooled them. Achlot Tavi Ravora and Tishvara Ravora. Bring proof. Why? Because we need. No, it's Mechavel Ravora. Right, Mechavel. She wants the money now. 
Where's the money? In his pocket, right? He says, right, listen, you're, it's a mekech toast. So Rabbi Shua says, no, we don't live by our word. There's a chazaka, leave the money where it is. So we'll see now. We Paschal, like Rabbi Gamaliel, we're going to talk about this. She's believed in this case. What's going on? Itmar, let's take a straight money matter. Itmar, Marlon Biyotcha, Reuven says to Shimon, you owe me $100. No, there's no proof. There's no star. There's no nothing. Right? No one is. Marlon Biyotcha, I'm not sure. Now he has to swear that he's not sure. He can't just be making up a story. He has to swear to make a sure assesses the Rabbana that he, he says, I don't know. So what happens is Bari Bishema. Same machlok is Rabbi Yudah Huna Amri Chayev. He has to pay. Rabbi Nachman Yochan Amri Potter. He doesn't have to pay. Motzi Mechaveru Ala Baraya. I don't have to pay. Yes, I'm not sure, but you have no proof either. Rav Huna of Rabbi Yudah Amri Chayev Bari Bishem Bari Yada. They say, listen, he's sure. Ruben's sure that the guy owes him hundred dollars. The other guy says, I don't know. You don't know Bari Bishem Bari Yada. Rav Nachman Yochan Amri Potter. Okimar Mecheskes Mare. You leave the money in the chazaka in the possession of who has it. That's the famous answer of Hamotzi Mechaveru Ala Baraya. You got proof. You got no proof. I, I don't know. You got no proof. I'm not paying you. Okay. And we're seeing in this case, Allah is like Rav Nachman. This Rav Huna and Rav Yudah said what? That they say that Bari Vashem Bari Yudah in the case of the money, you owe me $100 and I don't know. Rav Yudah says, Yuchayev is really the same as Shmuel. Had Rav Huna Rav Yudah to Shmuel is the same as Allah of Shmuel. The Tanan, what's the case of Shmuel? You have a single woman. A woman who's not married and walks around. Obviously, she's with child. She's pregnant. Bamele said, where'd you get pregnant from? From a very fine man. Cohen doesn't mean he's literally a priest. Doesn't mean a Cohen is supposed to love you. So it just means from a fine man. It's not a mamzer or a goy or anything like that. Fine, a fine person. The Rulio of Rabla Zaromer and Nemana, she's believed. She's believed the child is considered Muchas, even though he has no father. We don't know who the father is, but she's believed. But Omer Lay, Rab Shmuel by Yudal Rab Yehuda said to Rab Yehuda, Shinna, a smart kid. Amrul Mishmish, you said the halacha is like Shmuel. You said to us also in the name of Shmuel, not just what that uh, Rav Shmuel said to Rav Yudah, uh, who said in the name of Shmuel that halacha is real. You told us in the name of Shmuel that halacha is real. Afrishona, even in the case of the Mishnah, the halacha is real there too. My Afrishona, what do you mean in this Rishon in the first case of Mishnah? Even though what, what is going on in our Mishnah? He said what you are not a you are not a virgin, and she says I know I'm not but I was raped after we got engaged. It's your tough luck and you owe me 200. And he says, I owe you nothing. No, the halacha is, he believed her and he has to pay her. Even though you could say, leave the money where it is and you should have to pay her. Amar Gulil, Bari, other, but she's, she's sure, she knows when she was raped. Uh, that's, the, that's what it's, so that's what he told him. That was the discussion over here. That was the discussion over here. And he says, apparently that's the same thing in the case of the money. And where it's money to be yotcha. I have a hundred dollars, you owe me a hundred dollars. The other guy says, I don't know. Rav Yudah and Rav Huna say, you have to pay, Bari Bishem Bari Yadav. Lema Rav Yudah, Rav Huna, Damikam Gulil. So her Rav Yudah and Rav Huna, right, who say, in this case of the money, Bari Bishem Bari is also like Rav Gulil in the Mishnah, Bari Bishem Bari Yadav. He knows who owes him the money, and she knows when she was raped. Rav Nachman, Rav Yochanan, he said, no, leave the money where it is. Bar, you don't say that. You leave the money where it is. You owe me $100, and I don't know. I, I, one guy says, you owe me $100, that guy says, I don't know. No, he doesn't have to pay. You have to bring a proof. They go, be sure, leave the money where it is and don't make him pay. Rav Nachman could say, Rav Nachman who says in the case of the money, only, you owe me $100. And the other guy says, I don't know. And, and Rav Nachman says, you don't have to pay. I can even go like the Rabbanan, meaning what? I can even, I mean, not the Rabbanan. I can even go like the Rabbanan, the Mishnah. In other words, I, Rav Nachman, who say in the case of the money, I don't have to pay because I can even go like a Mulil who says in the mission that she's believed and she can collect the two else. Why? She has a Migu. What's her Migu? So Rashi says there's two Migus over here. She says, listen, after we were engaged, I was raped. She could have said after we were engaged, I was, uh, we, I had a sporting accident. I was riding a horse and the, 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 the saddle went into my uh, personal area there or something, or I was, playing baseball and the ball hit me there or something. She could say, why is that a better Taina? Because she can marry Cohen afterwards. A woman who was raped while she was married, not only she can't stay with her husband, right? She's married to a Cohen, right? But even if she was married to Israel, we had this before in Yabamas, right? She was married to Israel and she was raped. She could stay with her husband, but if her husband dies or divorce, or if her husband dies, let's say now, she's not a divorcee, she can't marry a Cohen. Even if she's not a divorcee, she's an Amman, 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 Amman,
Oh, so here she says, I'm amigo. I, I believe me when I claim that I was raped after we were married, because I could have said I was a Mukaseitz after we were married. I had an accident, therefore I'm not a psula. Or if she claims she's a Mukaseitz, Rash says another one, Shmam Nakushtakama. Like Abiyomis, let's say she says I was a Mukaseitz. She could have said I was Mukaseitz while we were married. Not only married before I was married, while we were married. In other words, in the case where she says we should sign Nasti, she has a ton of Mukaseitz in it. The Apostle Nafsha Mikuna, right? And she's coming in Nasti Misha Nasti, we come Mifsla Nafsha Desh, Desh, she's Israel Shinitsa, Sura Lakoin, like I just explained. So over in the Mishnah, the reason why we, we, we believe why Rumulio believes when we pass out Rumulio, because Rumulio says that's not simply Bari Vishema Bari Adif. Rav Nachman is really right. You don't say Bari Vishem Bari Adif when it comes to money matters. What do we always say? You got proof. You don't have proof. I'm not paying you. But in the Mishnah, it's different because she has Amigo over there. She has Amigo. She could have said, believe me when I say that I was raped after marriage, because I could have said I was a Mukasait. I wasn't raped at all. And, I could, and that's a better argument because then she, could, she doesn't ruin herself from marrying a Cohen. A woman yeah, always yeah. wants to be available to marry a Cohen. She doesn't want to ruin herself from the possibility of ever marrying a Cohen. A Not a Gushi. Yeah. But what? She's an Omana. Who's arguing with her? No, 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 no. She's not on own money yet. She's still married to this guy. Right. Right. She's still married to this guy. Now, now they're arguing about the money now, right? They're arguing about the money. He's yeah, arguing, right. I want to divorce you and give you nothing. And she says, no, I want my $200. Okay. Now let's say they come to an agreement about the, about the, um, about the money, whatever that is, they could stay married. They could stay married. But the argument of saying I was raped after we were married, ruins her in the future from ever marrying a coin if this guy dies 20 years wow. from now. That's the, that's the issue. So it's a better argument. So she has a migu. There were Emilia's made icon like from Emilia. my migu ika. But over here, what migu do we have? There's no migu over here. In the case of here of the money, <laughs> Ruben says you owe me $100. The other guy says, I don't know. There's no migu over here. So therefore, therefore he doesn't have to pay. He has a, the, the guy who has the $100 has no migu. The guy who says you owe me $100, he has no star, he has no nothing. Put her on the chazaka. She had, this woman had a chazaka. What was a chazaka? When she was born, was she psula or not? She was a psula, right? We don't know. Now we don't know when she didn't become when she became ice psula, when she became uh, when she lost her virginity. So what do you say? Well, you have to assume it was as late as possible, probably during the time that they were engaged. Why do you assume? What is he saying? He's saying you were raped before we got married. And you didn't say anything, and therefore I owe you nothing. It's a mechtos. She says, No, I was just raped recently during the engagement period. So the Chazaka says she was raped as late as possible because she had a Chazaka. She was a psula. So there, Emilio says, You believe her. It's like there's no Chazaka in the money. Reuben says, You owe me $100. The other guy says, I don't know. So therefore, even Rab Nachman, who says in the case of the money, leave the money where it is and don't pay him, the guy who doesn't know doesn't have to pay anything. He could agree with Rumaliel that she is believed and she collects two hundred dollars, right? Avalocha my chazaka isle islai. Now the Gemara says Achna Mestaver it's Mestaver Kol Mashina and that like we give an answer. The Rav Nachman who Darmak Rumaliel even Rav Nachman who says in the case of the money Bari B'Shema Lo Bari Adif would agree with Rumaliel that in the Mishnah Bari B'Shem Bari because it's not simply because of Bari B'Shem Bari Adif we don't say Bari B'Shem Bari Adif. Yes, <laughs> there are cases where you say Bari Bashem and Bari Yodah. This guy is sure about something. He's not sure. Everything else being equal, you give it to the guy who's sure. But in the case where, <clears throat> where Bari Bashem, this guy is sure, you owe me $100 for sure. And the other guy says, Shema, I don't know. Shema means possibly, I don't know. So you leave the money where it is. You don't say Bari Bashem Bari up there. And it's likely this way that I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, why? Why? Don't make real. Why? The in came. If you don't say the Rav Nachman doesn't make real, we have a we have a difficulty. Kashi Hilchasayich. So we have a steer in that halacha. Why? The Kaimla and Hilchasik of Nachman Dini. We have a general rule that we also, when it comes to money matters, we pass like Rav Nachman, and therefore, bar, in this case, you would say Bar B'Shem a low Bar Yada. But the guy who's not sure doesn't have to pay. Uvaha Amar Avinu Mershmo. We had before Allah Kim Leil is like Kim Leil Bar B'Shem a Bar Yada for our mission. Elamai must be Elav Shmaim Rakam Shmini Shmaim Rai. You see that over here, even Rav Nachman. Who holds Bari Bashem a lot Bari Yadif in the case of the money would agree with Rumaliel that Bari Bashem Bari Yadif there. Why? Because if there, there's a Migu. So therefore, it's likely that way. So we pass on from Rumaliel in the Mishnah that she has a better claim, either because she has a Chazaka, she was a Psula, or because she has a Migu. Believe her when she said that she was raped after they were married, because she could have said she was Mukaseitz after they were married, or she could even say Mukaseitz before they were before they were married. And that's a valid claim. And she's still entitled even there to 100, but it's a better argument. 
than saying that she was raped. She would uh, pass her stuff in the coin. And so we pass like we on the Mishnah and we pass like Ramach in the Gemara that Bari Vishama La Bar Yarafi Sam Smithvail all of a riot. And we learned today for Iluna Shama of Yehuda Kam ben Yoshua Levi. Yehuda Kam ben Yoshua Levi. Okay, any other questions? Have you had something before? Yeah. Yeah, we solved it. Okay, good. <laughs> we had finished it, so tough stuff. <laughs> yeah. I understand that the reason by the money is it's for Bishema is because he's not saying I don't owe you money. He's saying I may owe you money. Right, right, right. Or in the past. Right, right. Right, there, there, there. right, right. Suba, what's he saying? He, he's saying he's saying he's not sure. Not right, and he doesn't know. He, do, he doesn't know when though. Not it's a shema because he doesn't know. He, how it that, right, he doesn't. He doesn't know when it happened. He doesn't know how it happened. He doesn't know when it happened. She claims I was raped after we got engaged. He says, "No, you were probably raped before we got engaged, and you didn't say anything." Yeah, yeah, he wants to save him two hundred dollars. He, he, no, no. No, he, he has a reason to say because he's trying to save his $200. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the, Shema, the Shema is the same. I don't, I don't know. know. His argument is, uh, is, is, I don't know for sure, but I think that you were, this is what happened. In the case of the money, it's a different, it's not exactly the same, but in the case of the money, he says, I don't know if I owe you the money or not. No, I'm not sure. Money before. He's not saying, I don't owe you money. No, he's, he's saying, saying, I have no idea if I owe you money right. at all. But well, why would somebody say that as opposed to, I don't owe you money? Because in the past, it might be, maybe I did. Maybe again, or whatever happened in the past, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know if he owes him. He doesn't know if he owes him money, and she and and the husband does not know when she became uh, when she was uh, raped. That's that. In that sense, they're both shema. They're not exactly the same, but they're both shema.